Hello, I'm Mal, and welcome back to Shadowrun. This is part two. We're in the morgue here investigating what happened to our friend, or the closest thing that we had to a friend, Sam Watts. No employees beyond this point, huh? Eh, well, we're gonna walk in anyway. Bring over recently departed small dwarf, whistling a tune. His broad grin says, "I love my job," and a little more than you, you'd want to expect from someone in a chop shop trade. As you approach, he puts up a lopsided grin. Something kindly in his eyes, that might just be a stray reflection of chrome and surgical tools. Did expect any visitors, and some asshole if corporate took my receptionist. What can I do for you, sir? You the corner? I'm John Justin, Oregon Grangers, branch manager here. So yeah, it makes me the franchise area's corner too. And you are? Uh, I'm Elevant, I represent... He frowns, interesting. Dead man makes for a strange client. What made you think, think he's here? Sam had a locator chip and planted. Oh, okay. So who told you he was dead? Uh, he did. Dead man switch, huh? Fascinating. I was working on him. He's over here. He's my second Emerald City. Ripper victim, the third third one was downtown. Ripper? Emerald City Ripper? Not my title. That's what Seattle Press insists on calling the killer. All I know is that like the original Jack, our Ripper, kno our Ripper knows how to handle a scalpel. But this one's even more twisted. He or she always removes an internal organ from the victim. Yeah, that's nasty. Watt's liver was cleanly cut out. What about the other lucky contestants? First victim's heart was missing. The third had a spleen removed. Dresden, get out of here, McCluskey. Nah, this guy doesn't work. He looks cool. Basic med kit. Let's check the body. Covered in a sterile surgical sheet, face is ashen white, below the chest is a small pencil thin, incision covered in dried blood beyond that, corpse is immaculate. Next to Sam are several plastic envelopes containing evidence found on his body. You can examine the evidence of the bag. You can examine the evidence through the bag without, without spoiling it. Okay. It was a terrible feeling we are. Within lungs. So, see you there, love Jessica. Okay. Buttons missing, okay. Standard cheap unsecured crud stick. Uh, we'll take that. Business card. Seamstress Union. Okay. Anything else in here? No, I don't see anything. All right, let's go talk to this guy. So this new Ripper Vic Watts, name's familiar. Didn't his mother kill herself a while back? So you insisted at the time. Come on, she offed herself. 
I had it on very good authority. Now let's go, Dresden. Give me something to work with here. This Ripper case is my ticket to a lieutenant's badge. I've already posted everything I know. The killer stuns the target with a combination of drugs and magic that removes a single organ while they're still alive. The perpetrator is most likely right-handed with a slim hand that knows his way around a scalpel, has a decent understanding of human and metahuman anatomy. So I'm looking for a whacked out surgeon? Not necessarily. I don't know any surgeons who still use scalpels anymore. These days it's all done with computer controlled lasers. Could be anyone from a military field surgeon to an antique medicine aficionado. You're no damn hell, dwarf. The Lone Star Detective finally notices you. Notices superhuman powers of observation. Who the hell are you? Oh. See, if I had it, this is kind of neat how this works. If I had, a, like, if I had a high enough strength, I could basically, like, you know, kind of try to intimidate him. I don't know how force strength qualifies that against an orc, but hey. In any case, I clearly don't have that. I'm nobody who didn't hear nothing. Uh, I'm a detective on this case. Get anywhere near my investigation, will be you on the slab, elf. Looks back at the dwarf. Dress and get me more. Putting someone in a cell on this or a box this week and claiming my promotion. Dressin looks amused. You always make friends that easily? I'm great at dinner parties too. Cox is head to one side. Be straight with me. You really gonna work for the dead man? Yep, Sam was there when I needed him. Fascinating again. Detective McCluskey isn't interested in anything but Detective McCluskey. He'd convict his own mother if it meant another 10 million on his paycheck. Plus, he's on the take. You have the... You have honor after a fashion. I try to honor the dead in my work, so we may have that in common. On the take? Who's paying... To hold his leash, I don't know, but someone with major pull has been looking out for McCluskey's career and wallet. What did McCluskey say about Sam's mother? The official report was that she committed suicide about a year ago. Aren't you the official? My name's on the report. My actual findings left some doubts. I can't say that it wasn't suicide. There was an unusual bruise in her upper arms. And she didn't use her dominant hand to pull the trigger. I was told to drop it, so I dropped it. These organs worth these days. A whole healthy body can be worth a bunch of new yen, but individual organs? Not that much anymore. All the synth and cyber stuff on the market these days? Organ grinder only deal with recently deceased, and there's plenty of other chop shops that aren't as picky, though. They don't care where the bodies come from, either. Who still uses scalpels? Doctors still learn how to use them in their first year of medical school, as do coroners, but neither profession uses them much anymore. Hmm. Heard of the Seamstress Union? It's a nearby club in the Barrens that attracts lowlifes. Huh, interesting historical factoid. Uh, you guys probably know this, but if you don't, back in the day, you used to uh, form the quote unquote Seamstress Unions right after women got the vote in the United States. And, you know, if you had an alternative lifestyle in terms of earning a living, i.e. prostitutes and you know, they didn't want them to vote so they joined the seamstress union it was considered more respectable right you're a seamstress so surely you should vote and then candidates could be seen with them too without there being public backlash true story okay address him you look up intently for a moment before speaking you know I might be able to do one better why don't you poke around the yeah, okay, I'll do that. Give me some loots. Fat loots. What did we get? No, oh, another medkit? Okay, good. Another medkit. Alright. John Doe. Control thrust set to 21 degrees. Open it. Fully clothed. Body of a man, arms folded across his chest. Okay. Whoa, easy there. <laughs> Jake Armitage. This is the guy you played in the 
Super Nintendo game. One quick move, he jumps down from the drawer, stands before you. Someone who just woke up in a morgue locker. Seems unfazed and pretty put together, pretty well put together. He spot a data jack drilled into his temples. And some shamanistic tattoos peeking above his collar. An interesting combination. Told Jake to wake me up at 6 in the morning. Is it 6 yet? Doesn't feel like 6. Sorry, didn't expect you to be alive. Yeah, Jason thinks he's pretty funny. Not the first person he's pulled this one on. Well, so much for a good night's sleep. On the plus side, I noticed you haven't killed me yet, so that's good. <laughs> if you if you aren't after me, then what's your story? Last Vipper, Ripper victim, do you know him? Sam? Eh, yeah, glad somebody cares. We used to drink together now and again over at the Union. Decent enough guy. Always in trouble over something or another, though. Alright. Buddy, blah, blah, call me Mal. Yes, we clearly have to go over... Whew, walls of text. I love that this is a role-playing game, but my lord. Uh, yes. Great, if you know anything about his death. Uh, I don't work for free. I fight, I get paid, and not tours. I guess I'd say the same. Fine. Here's a crit stick for a thousand your name on it. Help me dust those gangers in his yours. Make it 1500. Our bargain, 1500 it is, but you better be worth it. Good for a fight, if you're good for the money. Alright. They've been hiding out ever since that run-in to Halloweeners, whiny bunch of gangers, but... Okay. You need a weapon? Uh, yes? Give me a pistol. I think that's the same one I've already got. I'm ready. Let's do it. Leave whenever you're ready. Okay. Is there anything in here? No? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Oh. Yeah, I'm playing the beta, the 1.2 version, so I actually can... That's one of the biggest things, is that I can actually save whenever I want, so that's kind of cool. So I'm going to go ahead and save. Let's see. Let's look at... What's the shortcut for... There we go. Let's look at the inventory real quick. Oh, I guess I didn't have a weapon. Okay. Well, I have one now. There's no ammo in the game, so... I mean, there's ammo from the standpoint of you have to reload, but you never run out. Personally, I I would have liked it if, if, if you did. I would have liked it if you ran out. Alright, so we're going into the Barrens. It's kind of like the slums out on the outside of the... Seattle's a big, big mega tropolis. So there's these huge urban sprawls. Okay, my stash is around the corner. Okay. Right there, I guess. What's, what's this dude all upset about? Approach, man, size you up. You can see age old fight or fight equation running in the back behind his drug clotted eyes. It's your story. Oh, nothing, just leave me alone. What'd you see? Are you a shaman? Yes, I'm a shaman. I thought so, but what did you see? I saw something the other night. Spirit so dark, so alien that. Just across the street from the Seamstress Union. It's gone now, then. Okay. Huh. Oh. 
Sir, her clothes may be dirty, but this woman is far from downtrodden. Hey, it's not my business, but I wouldn't go that way. Why is that? Oh, yeah, she's talking about these guys. Typical. These are the guys we're after. Their leader's a bit big old troll named John Paul. Real piece of work. Thanks for the heads up. Is that these guys? Hidden in the garbage alley is a high tech safe. Okay. Open it with Jake's car. Hand over the loot. Okay. Okay, let's see. Jake's got. And he's got heal wound, flamethrower. We'll just shoot. Well, actually, move and then take an aim shot on this guy. Ah! Yeah, you like that? Okay, I'll move and then I just take an actual regular shot. Toast. <laughs> that was nice. New objective, deal with the Halloweeners gang. All right. Oh, and I have Power Bolt, because I took one skill point. Is that the deal? Yeah. Great man. Let's talk to him real quick. Excuse me, sir. I don't know, but if you look like you can handle yourself in a fight, we need some help. Just down the street, please. The lightweights depend on it. Okay. We're going to kill them anyway, it looks like. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thug attempts to use his bulk and hideous breath to intimidate the shopkeeper. Old woman is holding firm. Bet your mom's real proud of you right now. Like, I ain't never heard that before. I don't see a badge, so why don't you mind your own? Business dusting you is going to get me paid. Kind of silly that you have to talk to him. Why can't you just shoot him? Right. Uh, let's see. Other person's what? Got a? I can't tell. Pistol or something? Hmm. Shoot this guy. Yeah, we can handle that. Okay, see these things on the ground? These are ley lines. So if you stand on one, see where it says 
see? It's just like a little up arrow ley line, so it makes your spells more powerful. So let's use Flamethrower. Armor, huh? Healed herself or himself, can't really tell if it's a guy or a girl. Oh. Karma gained one. Okay, cool. Keep it, you need it more than I do. Yeah. Didn't we deal with them? We did, right? No, there, there's an indication that there's more. Okay. Hey, ass wipes. You gotta step forward and we're gonna plant you right there. I guess we're fighting. Mm. Okay, let's go back up here. We can aim shot at this guy. There we go. That's good. But where? I guess I'll go down here. My guy has high quickness, so hopefully that'll keep you from getting getting hit too much. This guy out. There we go. That was a nice hit. And can you heal me from there? Nice. Okay. So I'm going to cast armor on myself. And then an aimed shot on the mage. Regular shot at 86%. Okay. Can I finish him off? Probably. Yeah, let's shoot him. There we go. Alright, I'm alright. Can't heal yet. Okay, so let's cast... Firebolt dealer here. Oh, missed. Flame sauce. Now, why does it show nothing available? Because. Hmm. 
Because I have... It says it's equipped, so... Why can't I use it? Is that... Bugged, or...? says that it's equipped, so if it's equipped, why can't I use it? Not sure. Might not have the re requisite skill to use it, that might be what it is. I've, I've played this once before, um, but it was when it first came out, and quite frankly I just don't remember. Oh, in this case I don't have enough AP because I've accessed my inventory. Okay. Or was it because I was still on Jake? I don't know. I'll, I'll look at it again. Is this guy the leader? Yeah. Okay, line of sight's blocked, huh? Okay. You know what? We're gonna come down here, since he's a melee combatant, it looks like. I still there's no I don't have an action. Okay. Why why am I not getting to move? What is the deal here? Over here. 41%, huh? Let's try aim shot. Light him up. There we go. Miss with a 99. Man. <laughs> okay. There we go. Whoa, Uncle, Uncle, I was just playing with you. Call off the rest of the Halloweeners, Jake. Pull out even. I'm already at the shoot on sight status with these guys. Killing John Paul means one less wiener to shoot at me. I want him to tell his friends what happened here. Nah. Let's finish him. Wow, okay. Come on, hit him. There we go. New objective, visit the murder site. Okay. Well, I have, um, I've got karma that I can spend, but I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna wait to spend that and think about it just a little bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this video. If, if you did, please consider giving me a like. As always, I look forward to your comments and feedback. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I'm Mao, and I will see you later.